Hello guys, this is the Hexagon Zero, and welcome to another store special. Alright, uh, unfortunately there have been no operations as I've restated several times in all my videos, so there will be no um, combination pack openings, but to make up for that, at least for this episode, I've got enough credits to buy two jumbo equipment packs, and um, although we know what's in them, I desperately need them because I currently am sitting at 11 medi medi gel and about 27 missiles. So, yeah, those will be in between the packs. But let's start out as we always do with the premium specter packs. All right, we get five medi gel, yay! Power efficiency module three, targeting vi targeting vi three. It looks like six. 63. <laughs> um, arc Pistol 5. Mm, Alright. And the Warfighter Package 1. Gear Equipment Bonus. Deploy this modification to increase assault rifle power and grenade storage. <laughs> Could be useful. Could definitely be useful. Alright. Now let's grab the Jumbo Equipment Pack. Well, one of the two, that is. Alright, we get five Thermal Clip Packs, five Mini Gel, five Cobra Missile Launchers, five Op Survival Packs, Warp Rounds 1, Shield Power Cells 1, Targeting VI 1, two Cobra Missile Launchers, plus two, one. Didn't that... Oh, okay, guess it's another plus two. Explosive Rounds 2, and Stabilization Module 2. And let's get the arsenal pack, see what new weapons we get. Alright, and we have five medigel. Ooh, finally, the M9 Tempest. Took long enough. I've I love this submachine gun in Mass Effect 2. It it it's got a pretty cool effect in Mass Effect 3. I think it was a little bit nerfed, but this machine this submachine gun was just amazing in Mass Effect 2. At least in my in my playthrough it was. Uh, densified ammunition three. Use an ammo shaver to load up and specially treated ammo to fire heavier, harder, and ammunition to fix more damage per shot. Okay, so it's basically a damage buff. All right, the collector sniper rifle two. This weapon sucks. Just it's a beam capable of sustained fire. No, take out the sustained and like put in two second fire, and then it needs to. You need to do that long reload animation. Yeah. And the Black Widow 3! Yay! Oh, this is my favorite sniper rifle ever. So, getting an upgrade for it is just fun. <laughs> and the final jumbo equipment pack. And we get five thermal clip packs, five medigel, five go missile, five ops, one explosive rounds one, <laughs> stabilization module one, drill rounds one. Uh, pistol Rail Amp 3, Warp Rounds 1, and Shotgun Rail Amp 1. And cross your fingers, guys. Cross them well. Because I really want either the Geth Juggernaut or the N7 Paladin. Come on. Please, 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 please. Five Op Survival Packs. Shield Power Cells 3. The Assault Rifle Omniblade 1. New Assault Rifle Mod. Attach an Omniblade weapon. Omniblade to the weapon for increased melee damage. Cool. Uh, Turian Ghost Character Training. And oh yeah. Full Auto Cerberus Rifle with Low Recoil and Heat Generation. The Cerberus, Cerberus Harrier. This gun is... it looks a lot like the Matok, but it's quite different in a way. You could say it's more powerful, because I've seen this used by a lot of other people, and they seem to get pretty good kills with it, so I'll be excited to attach that to one of them. Maybe I'll use it in this um, unofficial weekend operation this weekend. Apply it to my Turian. Uh, speaking of which, I might even use the Turian Ghost. Probably won't, but meh. I'm disappointed though. This is this is a reserves pack, and I get character training and two, a weapon and a weapon attachment. Although I did get a shield power cells three, that's good, but huh, interesting. Anyway, I don't have enough for not even a specter pack. I don't really feel like buying a veteran pack. Oh, what the hell? Why not? We have three Medigel, three Op Survival Pack, the M92 Mantis, one, two, three, seven. No, eight. That's the, that's the Mantis eight. 
uh, incendiary rounds one and the phased in five all right so let's take a look at the leaderboards hmm. wow there we go this is among friends but yeah still sitting at three the N7 rating global I am 3,000 uh, 38,224 uh huh with the top oh <laughs> wait a minute look at that look at that I hate origin 23 <laughs> um with the top being SR2 Spectro I think he might still be at top wow and N7 rating Canada I am 1463 I think I moved up maybe huh and just three just even with the reverse th e whatever just even there we go still sitting at top I, I think I'm remembering two weeks ago come on give me a break um, challenge points among friends uh -huh. yeah all right uh, challenge points global I am 32,351 help me Jeebus <laughs> and oh Norn Rad 1 newcomer Huh. At least I think that's a newcomer. Because before it wasn't it, um. Mm. I can't even remember. Anyway, well, Lauren Rad, there you go, rank number one. And challenge points Canada, I am 1,328. Which. And help me, Jeebus, <laughs> right there again. And symbols, still holding the. No, oh, might have been saving throw. I can't remember. Huh. Well, it's one of the two. And that's it for that. Um, nothing new on challenges, really. I did the final tech explosions in a video, I think. Maybe. All that's left is either tech armor or... Oh, yeah, tech armor. I don't like doing that one, though. It takes forever. Yeah. So that's really it. So with that, I will say goodbye, and this is the Hexagon Zero, signing out.